All right, another one with the audio bug. So, oh, yeah, that's uh, the soul music. VLC already. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's definitely dropping for me. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? There, there we, we go. go, there we go. Alright, well, I'm mostly gonna be letting you take this one off. Yeah, so, uh. You're a player in the match, but. Part of what I was talking about, I talked about this in the last vid, Katie, to compare how we use Gunflame, which, again, I use Gunflame too much as an autopilot, uh. You press it a lot off of, like, really short range stuff. Whereas I press it off like far slashes and 5Hs, which still has a lot of flaws as a tactic, but the difference is that uh, I'm very plus after the Gunflame. Also be really careful with Bandit Bringer spacing. Yup, the call out round start with a uh, Riot Stamp. Uh, that was the I think this was the round where I pressed slash realizing that I was going the wrong way because I wanted to backdash because <laughs> I thought I was the other soul for a second. <laughs> that was that yeah, that was a good burst. Ooh, good gunflame wire C to catch me, but I wasn't quite in I was in counter's tit apparently. Yep, the bandit bringer again. Gotta be very careful. Oh you know, I think I figured out why it's having issues. I'm pretty sure the hard drive stuff stored on is just like particularly poor. So it's mm. basically buffering off the hard drive. Anyways. Yeah, good knockdown. Though the OTG I think Ooh. pushed uh, out just of range. A, I, I'm not sure if that was mistimed or if that was uh... I'm not sure if that was mistimed or uh, misspaced wild throw. Uh, I'm fairly Although sure definitely mistimed. misspaced. No, no, I think that was just this time. Yeah. So, okay, uh, go back to my wild throw. Okay, so... Right sorry. after this, I'm gonna... Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, like, that's just a regular punish. Nothing particularly spectacular about that. Do the do a mid-screen confirm. So, right there, on that, uh... On that... Specific interaction. Uh, I catch a lot of our newbies with that, and it catches... It'll continue to catch people. But if you space an empty jump low like that, what you can do is you can press uh, jump heavy with my landing. Because if I safe jumped, uh, and this still loses to other things because this will like lose to an air dash mix up. But if I safe jumped, you'll block, the hit stun will eat the throw input, and uh, nothing will, you'll, you'll just, I'll have safe jumped you. You'll be blocking, that's fine. If I empty jump low, you will catch me on the landing, and your throw will beat my low. Unless I am spaced, which I very rarely do correctly. So that's a good thing to know in that situation. It does lose to other things, because, like, for example, I could uh, air dash out from there, and then punish your heavy button, which loses to other stuff. But that's the mix-up. Oh, VLC. Yeah, that was a forward dash on purpose. <laughs> uh, I need to remember that 2P is slightly plus, so I can just start doing macro dash stuff off of it, which is also advice to you, Crady. <laughs> the, the 2D into 2D. But yeah, if you're going to be pressing Gunflame in neutral, you want to mostly try to do it from a far away spot. Yep, the later it hits, the more positive you are. You gotta watch out with riot stamp in neutral. It's uh, it's a what it what it does really is it'll make like mid range buttons whiff and then punish all in one action, but easy to six p on reaction. Ooh, good dp on my empty jump. A little late on the confirm. I think I tried to wild throw, <laughs> but that was a good range to choose to Fafnir at. Uh. <laughs> a particular decision. <laughs> oh yeah, I can do that now. <laughs> yeah, there's that empty jump situation again. PLC, please. Ah, 
I was not sure who was going to win that one. Yeah, there's that stun reset. Okay. I see what you're talking about. Oh my gosh, Gunflame went away on that. So remember that Volcanic Viper recovers crouching next to you, and especially after the kick there, it's counter hit state. So just take your pick of a grounded counter hit starter. Uh, and if you want a safe starter, uh, honestly mid-screen you can just do wild throw a lot. And you get like reasonable damage. Yeah. Oh, I definitely tried to throw a burst there. <laughs> Oops. I think I wanted to wire a C. Oh yeah, my jump situation was just slightly mistimed. Good gold burst. Yeah, all right. Uh, a little late in our health situation for a gold burst, and then I have to respect it. <laughs> oh yeah, I messed up my starter choice really badly, or my extender uh choice really badly. Uh, this is a really bad situation. That was a really smart uh, Roman cancel, honestly, because it forced me into the knockdown, and you survived it. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, I do think, though, if so, when you do this, you tap him right here, and Soul just stands there and goes back down. Uh, I think you were just so focused on getting out of Dragon Install that you forgot that. Now, soul, or now the other soul has to go through that same recovery animation, yeah. and so you just get to pick a counter hit starter. Uh, not or counter not, hit. Not counter hit. Uh, In that situation, close hit. slash 6p, 5h. I know you can do that dust loop off that. Yep. Ooh, that was a good 6p. Hard to, very hard to pick up off of on that trade, though. So. Right, both of you guys need to get, actually start safe jumping. There's a lot of wake up DPs that are landing this set. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my brain like default tries to default to like at least doing a setup that can go into safe jump in the corner, but I don't do the mid screen enough. Uh, that was super misinput. I, <laughs> I, I like my brain. To jump dust, right? my, I think what I did is my brain couldn't decide between trying to throw OS or jump dust, and uh, so I hit a, th a throw OS with dust. <laughs> I see. Yep. Um? Yeah, you can just burst through that. Oh, okay, I didn't see the burst. And then you gotta remember Blitz is always an option. Yep, that's something that doesn't come up too much for you guys yet. But it will come up more as you get deeper into the game, basically. Yep. Oh, I missed my jump punch. That confirms hard. Yeah, okay, so actually... Ooh, good jump go slash on the incoming. So, uh, sorry, a little bit further back. So here, you use Gunflame at a further range. Uh, is it... Yeah, right there, you do far slash, can't get anything off it, so you Gunflame. This is exactly what you want to do, whether it hits or is blocked. And into fast yeah, you don't want to always do it. You you, because you don't, you just don't want to always gunflame ever. There is no situation other than like a confirm, obviously, where you always want to gunflame. Mm -hmm. Um, it makes you too predictable. But but I mean, there's a lot worse a, things to have as your like autopilot. Yeah, yeah, pressure. Yeah. I should actually bandit revolver more at my extended. Uh, s distances. Same with you, Crady. Bandit Revolver can be made plus at the right spacing, although I think it might always be a little negative on instant block. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted the counter hit 2H. <laughs> I really wanted a counter hit in general, evidently. Oh, I thought I could burst punish that, I think. Yeah, like, that was a good jump over on my Gunflame, which is exactly why you don't want to always gunflame. 
That was such an awkward situation. Yup. I, I was fishing for a counter hit, so I went into uh, Riot Stamp by muscle memory. Yeah, that's a, that was a, uh, what I just did was a good example of like, I have no idea what will happen from this confirm. I think that was a wild throw attempt off that YRC. Uh, it looked like that was the idea, but then like it looked like Grady wasn't sure of the spacing or something. Because that 2k into the follow-up pressure looked intentional. Yeah, that's true. I think I tried to dash air throw because I had the YRC, but it was way too late to go for it. <laughs> Oh, there I go. Okay. So yeah, that's definitely an option. Probably safer to just wait until landing and punish them. Oh, uh, I think that was a fine punish because I was... Uh, if you'd done the kick, it would have just smacked him, right? Or did you already do the kick? Yeah, if you'd oh, done yeah, the kick, yeah. it would have just smacked him. I think punishing on the way down is okay if it'll kill, though. Otherwise, uh, you'll get something better by waiting. See, I keep thinking if I get a counter, if I get a 6p on round start, that it's probably counter hit, and then I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, look for wake up throws in a situation like that. Soul doesn't really have any option to beat them other than calling them out with a DP. There it is. I was in the air when I did that gold throw, gold burst. Okay. <laughs> That, yeah, that should be set. Yeah, I'm just gonna super here. Oh yeah, sorry, game, not set. Wrong word. Yeah, that was definitely the wrong choice of follow-up because nothing off Fafnir there. We both uh, Fafnir too much <laughs> on confirms where it won't work. Yep, good bait on the DP. No punish, but she still got out of there. And that is a fine option. That missed? Uh, I, my 6P carried me forward and Bandit Revolver, or Bandit Bringer has some corner missing issues. Okay. I think I tried to air throw that to finish it. <laughs> I think that's the, that was the first dust loop you dropped this game, I think, or this set, I think, and I think that might have been the only one the whole set. You definitely got most of your dust loops. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a good thing. As long as you can be consistent there, you got most of the hard stuff out of the way. Combo-wise, anyways. Yeah, I think a lot of the ongoing difficulty with Soul is just, like, getting a really good understanding of neutral situations and how to capitalize on them. You have a really strong tool set, but you have to make use of it right. Oop, caught my jump. Oh, okay, so there's a second one. Still, for the most part, though. Good air throw on my way down. I RC'd it, so I would have otherwise been safe. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here a little bit. So this... When you see Stand Blitz, you had the right idea by going low, but... Uh, you're actually lucky that this whiffed, because as soon as the red glow starts, the one that you see here, that actually blocks both high and low. And it was misspaced. I honestly think one of the best things to do with soul, because uh, you still get good reward for doing this in the corner, is just like wild throw to be safe. Mm -hmm. But so Like there's stronger do... punishes, but wild throws, you're safe and yeah, uh, you're safe. <laughs> so if you block this in its max charge, then the opponent is at plus five. Uh, the person who did the max blitz 
However, they lose armor on the way forward. So if you're confident in your timing, you can just throw this as it's like right here. If you're confident in your timing, you can press six H with the right timing and get the sweet, sweet counter hit. But uh, that's intense. True. You're actually, actually, you if forgot you forgot to fall. This. Yeah, I did. Uh, it happens to everybody, honestly. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I tried to six P that Fafnir, which would have been sick. I keep really wanting to like flex my counter hit confirm instead of just doing the regular six P thing. <laughs> I need to riot stamp less. I like to think it is better than it is. <laughs> it's real good if you're in the corner. Well, if you're in the corner, you have to watch out for certain options that just like get a nice counter hit on it. Yeah, you keep air throwing me on the way down from that, which is really smart. Oh yeah, good six P to beat the five K. So definitely remember to look for more places that you can anti-air with 5k. Uh, you're doing pretty well at filling some of the gaps with air throw, but sometimes you want to just like stick a button out there instead. <laughs> I tried to pick up off that. I should get used to in the corner doing easier pickups. Because I always want to Fafnir off that. Yep, oh, this is now I think that meant to be a 2h. I think there might be a dragon install in this set or in this match. I I was so scared right here because I just saw that blinking risk. <laughs> Don't burst there, kids. That's well throw. Ah. Uh, oh. Yep. Got antsy. Oh, and then do I do the full? Nope, I drop it. Get him. I apparently just blocked something, so I think I might have accidentally made a gap and then, like, not actually held that, uh, back. I don't think you were holding down, actually. Okay. I can believe that either happened. I'm assuming that pickup didn't work because the riot stamp is too close to the corner. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it is very funny to me that that beats jump forward, jump dust. Which is like basically a meme option to stuff Bandit Bringer. Good pickup. Yep, a little bit late on the safe jump though. Yeah, that was a really good burst. You guys still have a lot of health and uh. Have you shown Creedy the Jump class. K cross up yet? I, uh, I haven't shown it to him because like I've done it a bunch and he's done it. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I I think he knows about it, but I could be wrong. I think I wanted to DI. <laughs> Synchronized kicks there. I did want a DI. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to end it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think a lot of that was... Uh, I think I controlled space better with the soul buttons, and I give you less chances to do things, because I'm a very and, I mean, get you the also damage have oriented a lot more player. With the combos as well, so you were getting oh, yeah, more definitely, reward but, of uh, uh, Also, for real, both of you guys need to okay, safe jump. No, I'm lazy. Like, it's soul. It's the easiest thing in the I world. Know. <laughs> uh, I don't think... I think part of what happened is that, like, we kept going for safe jumps... And then, like, the times we would do them the correctly, the other person just wouldn't TP. <laughs> and then, like... 
we just like stop doing safe jumps after that and get DP'd because we're idiots. I mean, that's, that's when you go for the safe jump and then go for the DP safe mix up so that they DP and do it sometimes. Yeah, but. Or sorry, the, the losers to DP. See, but I'm not saying we made good decisions. I'm just saying what I think happened. I agree with you. I'm saying we, we were just like, oh, ooh, this is this other soul. He knows about safe jumps. Uh, he's not gonna let me DP here. He's not gonna let me do, uh, bait the DP, and then we just get DP'd. <laughs> what a set. Yeah. So just, I mean, you're doing well coming along with your combos and stuff. Just yeah, you got. I think all but one those. dust loop correctly. I think two. Off of a few but, things. Yeah. Oh, I think there was a dust loop that got dropped before it was even the dust loop off of Wild Throw. Uh, yeah, there was like a weird cross up one where it came out as 6H during yeah. the Thunder instead. Uh, I think if you release the, the 6 and let it slide, even if the 5H comes out the wrong way, it can hit. So just like try to release the button before you hit H. Hmm. Yeah, so just, you know, continue optimizing confirms. Think about where you're placing the gun flames in your pressure. Yeah, both in terms of distance and how much you use them. Remember you're, that you've got other extension options. Uh, be more careful. You stop kind of just stop bandit bringering after I punish them a few times, but really you only want to use them like when you're confident in your spacing. Uh, because you, you, you get like a plus zero situation, which isn't terrible for soul. Uh, and like, as long as you're not close enough that you can be thrown, that's not a big deal. All right. Well, I think I didn't have too much for this one as not the soul official. Yeah, no. Of. And I went over a lot of it. If you have more things you want to ask me, you know where to... Hit me up, so. Alright. See you around.